Today, we'll review how to use SureBP and the other non-invasive blood pressure parameters of our Welch Allen patient monitoring devices. We'll also incorporate the standard clinical practices of blood pressure measurement techniques to help ensure an accurate reading. First, ensure the blood pressure hose is connected and there are no holes or kinks in the tube. With dual lumen hoses, Welch Allen devices utilize our proprietary SureBP technology to acquire the patient's blood pressure on the inflation of the cuff in as little as 20 seconds. If a measurement is unsuccessful during inflation due to arrhythmia, patient movement, or other factors, the device will automatically initiate a step deflation measurement. If a single lumen hose is being used, the device will also utilize step deflation only. To apply a Welch Allen FlexiPort cuff, utilize this five-step process. Position, check, attach, rotate, and detach. Let's go into each of these in a little more detail. First, position. When applying the cuff on the patient's arm, be sure to align the brachial index marker arrow over the patient's brachial artery. Once you have this alignment, wrap the cuff around the patient's arm snugly, allowing room for no more than two fingers to fit underneath the cuff. Second, check. Next, you want to ensure the correct size cuff is being used on your patient. The way you do this is by checking to see if the artery index marker falls within the range markings on the cuff. If your patient's index marker is bordering closely to the left-hand side of the range, your cuff is too large and you should go down to the smaller size cuff. If your patient's index marker is bordering to the right-hand side of the cuff range, the cuff is too small and you should go up to the larger size cuff. If two different cuff sizes could work for your patient, please always choose the larger size. Third, attach. At this point, you have positioned your cuff properly and chosen the appropriate size cuff for your patient. You are now ready to attach your blood pressure fitting. With FlexiPort technology, snap the fitting from your blood pressure device directly into the cuff and wait for the click sound. Fourth, rotate. With a FlexiPort cuff, you have the ability to rotate the device tubing 360 degrees. This provides relief to common issues you may have to troubleshoot, such as kinked BP tubing, and readjusting or reapplying cuffs on the arm when patients are put in a specific surgical procedure position or are restricted in recovery positions. It's also important to note that you always want the flexi-port fitting or port on the outer portion of the extremity. Fifth, detach. The last step is to remove the flexi-port fitting once the blood pressure measurement is complete. This is done simply by squeezing the flexi-port fitting and pulling away to detach from the cuff. Now that we've discussed proper use of the blood pressure cuff, let's move to the function of the patient monitoring devices themselves. They utilize touchscreen technology and will enable you to take single, averaged, or interval NIBP measurements. Readings can be taken from the NIBP tile, and as a user, you can choose to visualize the systolic and diastolic numbers or the mean arterial pressure. To do so, touch the tile to toggle through. To take a singular blood pressure, press the BP Start button. When a measurement is started, the monitor inflates the cuff to the appropriate level. In the NIBP frame, the systolic display shows the cuff pressure while the blood pressure measurement is in progress. When the measurement is complete, the monitor displays the final reading. To stop the NIBP during the measurement, simply touch the stop button. To take an averaged blood pressure, a clock icon will appear in the office profile of our Connex devices or directly on the home screen of the Spot 4400. With the Connex family of devices, tap on the clock and then select one of the protocols that have been programmed. The device will run the protocol as described and at the end, 
the averaged blood pressure will appear alongside each individual reading. Now let's review interval blood pressure readings available on the Connex family of devices. There are three different types of intervals available, automatic, program, and stat. Starting with automatic intervals, this will take N, I, B, P, and S, P, O, two measurements at a consistent time frame. For example, every 60 minutes. Begin by selecting the interval's clock icon, then select automatic. You'll then use the numeric keypad to enter the length of time between NIBP measurements and touch start intervals. These readings will continue until the user physically stops them. The second type of interval mode available is program intervals. This allows you to configure the monitor to take automatic NIBP measurements at variable timeframes. Preset programs do exist, but they can also be edited to meet your needs. To work with the program intervals, touch the interval icon and then touch program. The selections under program will indicate the duration of each interval, for example, 60 minutes, and the number of minutes between each interval cycle, for example, every 15 minutes. As soon as you touch the start interval button, the monitor starts the first measurement immediately. Then after the first measurement, the interval cycle begins. The second measurement starts at the program selected time after the first measurement is complete, and so on. Stat intervals is the third option. To select the stat option, touch the interval icon in the NIBP frame, then select stat. The monitor takes repeated NIBP measurements for five minutes starting a new cycle each time the cuff deflates below safe venous return pressure for two seconds. In order to cancel stat intervals, you must do so manually by touching the interval icon and selecting stop intervals. If you would like to stop only one measurement, touch the stop icon in the BP frame. This will cancel an actively inflating cuff but will not affect future interval measurements. Within intervals, there are alarms for measurements that fall outside of a specified range. If you want to change NIBP alarms, begin by selecting the alarm icon in the tile. Then, enter the desired upper and lower alarm limits for systolic, diastolic, and MAP readings using the up-down arrows or the keypad. When you are finished, Touch the Home tab, and you'll see the alarm settings displayed in the alarm control on the main screen. Thank you for reviewing the non-invasive blood pressure capabilities of our Welch Allen family of patient monitoring devices. If you have any additional questions, please reach out to your local Baxter representative.